Hey guys, Tech Number Two with the video for you guys. In today's video, we're gonna show you guys how to fix this FaceTime activation error that you might be seeing where you're not able to activate your FaceTime and essentially not be able to make FaceTime calls anymore. So in this video, we're gonna explain the reasons why you're seeing that and then also the troubleshooting and the solutions that will help you hopefully resolve this issue. But if, before we dive into today's video, if you guys are new to our channel, we do a lot of tech news reviews and giveaway. So make sure that like and subscribe button. Also, if you guys are in the market for one of these devices at a discounted price, make sure you guys check out the links in the description section. So let's talk about why you're seeing this issue because we first need to know the reason before we can actually fix it. So the top reasons why you might be seeing this error message is because there's an issue activating your FaceTime and sometimes it's because you have to wait a certain period for it to happen and after some time it might be just timing out. There could be an issue with your network and lastly there could be actual issue with your software or the actual device itself which will show you how to fix that. So the solution for this is going to be a couple solutions. The first thing you want to make sure when you see that error is to check your connection. So what we mean by checking your connection is FaceTime generally works really well when you're connected to a Wi-Fi. So make sure if you have a good Wi-Fi make sure you're close to the Wi-Fi signal and those bars are pretty much full. So that means you have a good Wi-Fi connection. Now for some reason you don't have Wi-Fi and use the cellular uh, data plan. If for in that, in that case, you want to make sure you go into settings and then this time in your cellular one that you want to make sure your cellular data plan is there. Again, sometimes what will happen is if you don't have cellular data, you might have to contact your carrier to make sure that your cellular data actually has the bandwidth to make FaceTime calls. Again, if you have a low bandwidth, it might not be enough to make cellular to FaceTime calls because FaceTime call works through the internet. So you want to make sure that you have either a good Wi-Fi connection or a cellular plan option that actually supports FaceTime. Now, Tip number two that will hopefully resolve this issue, it's gonna be around checking the date and the time of your device here. Again, what happens is when you make a FaceTime call, it reaches out to Apple servers where the FaceTime is actually possible and just make sure that it's actually able to do FaceTiming. So to check the time and the date on your devices, you're gonna look at that time and the date and compare it with your local or time that you're in or the time zone you're in. Make sure that matches. Now, if the, you can also check this by going into settings and then general and then go to date and time. Here, you want to do some uh, troubleshooting. First, you want to, if it's incorrect, you want to turn this off and adjust it either manually or just turn it again, turn it back on. Generally, when it's connected to Wi-Fi, it will automatically connect it because it can pick up the time zone. Again, it's gonna be either, if it doesn't pick it up, just manually set it, make sure the date is correct and the time is correct. Again, generally, it'll pick up by automatically. You wanna correct that if there's any issues with it. Now, the next troubleshooting step you wanna do is if you're still having that issue and not making FaceTime call, it's simply, again, in the settings, and this time you want to go to iMessage. So to go to iMessage, simply go to messages here. And in the messages here, you're gonna make sure that message is turned on. And you can see that is turned on right here. So make sure that is turned on. And then for FaceTime, same thing. Make sure here your FaceTime is turned on. And then you also have an email or a phone number here that is linked to your account. So those two things are on and go ahead and try it uh, to make sure those things are important. Now, what we wanna do is simply uh, go ahead this time, if it's not working, turn both of them off. So we'll turn off iMessage and turn off FaceTime. Turn these two off, and then once you have turned those off, we're gonna go ahead and turn off the device itself. So you're gonna turn off your iPhone by simply holding this big button and the volume up button. This is gonna be the case for iPhone 10 and above. On the older devices, you just have to hold the big power button on the side or the top here and that should slide to power it off. You're gonna slide it and it's gonna power off. For some reason, if your buttons aren't working or you can't get it, you can also go to settings and in the settings this time around, you're gonna go to general and then at the bottom here, you have a shutdown option as well. This is on iOS 15 and you can click that, slide it, power off and then after you power off, give it about a minute and then after a minute, you're gonna hold this big button here on your right hand side and you see the Apple logo come up and that means you can power on the device again. And this time, after you have done that, it came back to the home screen here, you're gonna go to settings again 
and this time in the settings we want to go ahead and turn those two options that we turned off so iMessage go ahead and turn on iMessage first and then go to FaceTime same thing again turn on FaceTime again iMessage and then this time you'll see your send and receive email and probably your phone number as well available there and then same thing with FaceTime you're gonna see again an email and probably a phone number which you can select and that means now your iMessage and FaceTime is on again so that's gonna be the next troubleshooting step that you want to do now if you're still having the issue now it's gonna be probably time to check the software of your device so to make sure that you have the latest version of the software what happens is over time if the software is old and there's a new release coming coming out there might be a fix or something that Apple releases and that you need to install so to do that you're gonna be in settings again this time you're gonna general and the software update here you're gonna check to see if there's an update if there's an update it will come up here and you can simply click and down load and install if you don't have any update it's just gonna say your software is up to date and you don't have to do anything there now if you're still having the issue the next thing you're gonna have to do is sometimes wait about 24 hours so when you activate your phone for a first time or haven't used FaceTime in a long time sometimes what Apple happens is Apple temporarily stops that from your device and you're gonna have to wait about 24 hours to get that activation completed and it's a slow process but let's say you don't have the patient to wait now the next thing you can do is actually contact Apple support so contact Apple support they usually can troubleshoot over the internet you just want to click on go to Google and say Apple support and once you click on that it will take you to their main site and then you can simply select whatever device you're using and then just simply uh, select the option of any of these repair options over the phone and you can simply get service or if you want to contact them over chat you can simply just click any of these options and it will just connect you to support and hopefully they can take a look at your account to make sure it's not blocked or anything like that the last thing you want to do is simply check that actually the FaceTime service that Apple provides is actually on and there's no issue. So Apple gives you status of their, all of their services. So there's a server that runs. So you want to check that. To check that, you go to Apple System Status. So System Status, if you go here at Google it, you'll see all the services that are available here right now as you can see all of these are available you also notice there's all three issues going on right now you can see there's business manager school manager and some iCloud apps are having some issue which Apple reported generally you want to check to make sure that FaceTime here as you see right now it's available but if it had an issue and it was in the other settings that means you have to wait till their services on it and generally Apple fixes these services right away when there's an issue reported and generally that's with their server so if they had some issues with their FaceTime server everybody would be affected and generally they'll fix these services really quick so hopefully all the tips that we shared with you guys again help you guys fix that issue of FaceTime activation error and if you have any other solutions that you like to share that worked for you leave a comment in the comment section thanks for watching guys see you guys next time